We are finally going home, kids. Look, a wormhole is about to open 30 million kilometers from Earth. All we have to do is be there when it does, and hot sure, we'll bend up right over there. Oh. Back to Eva. Back to Argo. Back to school. <gasps> but what about all this mess? We'll never be ready in time. And that is why I need the help of a brilliant and good-looking assistant. Ready, Captain. Not you, Grub. I have modified the transporter beam to create the perfect assistant. Prepare to activate the red switch. Grub, take me outside. <laughs> Move away from the space bus. Uh. Miva, activate the switch now! <laughs> Good. Now, throw me in front of the transporter beam, Grab. You want me to throw you? Yes! Right. No, I don't mean yeah. no, I didn't put me oh. down! Oh. Gently! Oh. <sighs> Now get back, Grub. Get back. <laughs> That's all right, son. Go, you sick work. Quick, Miva. Deactivate the switch and pick me up. It didn't work. That's what you think, okay. Grub. Now pick me up and let's get oh. back in. Come on. That's the way, Miva. Now set me down in the bed. is superb. Now stand by for a big surprise. Hello there! It's good to see you! It's good to see me too! <laughs> I am a genius! I certainly am! <laughs> how kind of you to say so! I never realized how truly handsome I am! I can say that again! Now let's start back! Ready when I am! Is there anything we can do? Yes! Put up a sign that says, Geniuses at work! Here, here! <laughs> hey, this book says the stock market will help triple my money in weeks. Do you think Quiggle will help me pick the right stocks? Don't get your hopes up, Luz. Quiggle said the space bus was nearly ready to fly. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up, Rodney. He's always saying that. Those aliens are never going home. Rodney! Lucy! Now, Quiggle, I've got this great idea, which involves... Lucy! Like... I'll never see you again! I'm gonna miss you, oh. little buddy! <laughs> yes! Silence, please! Can't you see we're trying to act? Exactly! A bit of shush, what? please! What? Two... I... But... Uh, how did... Just a simple replication, Rodney. To get the repairs done faster. I'm surprised I didn't think of it earlier. Certainly, but even a genius can't think of everything. I like kind of you to say so. Oh, well, the pleasure was all mine. Are you really sure the space bus is fixed this time? 100%. No, 200%. When have I ever been wrong? Do you want me to write you a list? So, when do you guys take off? Tomorrow morning, Lucy. What about the show? We mustn't wait, Rodney, in case the wormhole closes up. But we have to say goodbye to our Earth fans. <laughs> please, please! <laughs> uh, what do you say, Quiggle? I'm not really sure about this, Quiggle, but they are our dearest friends. Uh, why? Certainly! <laughs> anyway, then, but make it short. If tomorrow's kids' breakfast is our last show together, it has to be great! The best. <laughs> We'd better tell Dee. This is Philip Bailey reporting. Be tough, but friendly. This is Philip Bailey reporting. Lower. No, sweetie, your voice. Lower your voice. Uh, mm, right. This is Philip Bailey reporting. <gasps> Fantastic. You were born to be a television reporter? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Dee. Mummy never took my dream of being a reporter seriously. Oh. I wish you could see me now. I wish she'd never gone to Hollywood. I miss her so much. Oh, I still love you, Auntie D. Oh. <laughs> Put her down, Philip. She's too old for you. Mummy! Oh, Diane! Deirdre, darling. Oh. Give your sister a hug. Oh. Um. 
Thank you for looking after Philip for me. He looks fabulous. Apart from the hair, the makeup, and the dreadful suit. Uh, Auntie Dee's helping me become a TV reporter. A reporter? Oh, don't waste your time. You are destined to be a celebrity, a star. But I want to be a reporter. It is always about you, isn't it? I spend thousands of dollars on acting, singing, and dancing lessons, and you want to throw it all away on being a dime a dozen reporter. Stop yelling at him. OK, I'll yell at you instead. Stop putting ideas in my boy's head. Mum, please. I don't have any ideas in my head, honest. Toy, you're back. <gasps> Die! Oh, oh just get off me, you big tub of lard. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I see, Hollywood's made you oh. friendly as ever. What can I do for you, dear? We need to talk to you about the show. What, what about it? it? It's not your show anymore. Well, we'll just see it about that. Yes, we will see. Come, Come on, Philip. <gasps> yes, Mummy, Aunt, uh, Auntie. Oh, stop sniffling and bring my bags. Please, stop yelling at him. Here's my son. He's my nephew. Are you still going to do the show after Grover and me were gone? With Philip? You've got to be kidding me. Life is going to be so different without them. Yeah. No more getting slimed or genetically mutated when one of Kriegel's gadgets goes wrong. Liz, we're going to be stuck here on Earth and they're going to be out roaming the galaxy. I'm going to miss them so much. Miss who? Um, Grover and me are leaving kids' breakfast. Oh. Well, that's sad. All good things must come to an end, though. We still have time to do other things. Yeah. Yeah, well, I decided that, um, show business is a, is a far too risky way to make money, so, um... I'm going to try my luck at the stock market. Good girl. And what about you, Rodney? Sorry, Mum, I've forgotten the words. It'll come back, darling. You're not meant to be a reporter. You are meant to be a star. Oh, darling, wonderful to see you. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> wonderful to be here. And aren't you looking young? <laughs> <laughs> so, Kevin, about getting my old job back. Not your job. It's my job. We're not at home anymore, Diane. You can't have everything just because you're the older sister. Why don't you go back to Hollywood and lord it over your superstars and your million-dollar TV show? Hmm? I'm not going back to Hollywood. Why? Did you earn enough to retire? No. My show was cancelled. Oh. You mean? Yes, darling. <laughs> Mummy's home to stay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so you see, Kevin, I need a job. Can't I have my old one back? Dee's obviously not capable. Look what she's done to Philip. He can hardly dance anymore. You abandoned him. You left without even saying goodbye. He's mine now. <gasps> He's mine? He's mine! Ladies! Ah, ah, Ladies, please! Oh, hey, please. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Quiggle, when you go, I want to go too. Oh, Rodney, I know our departure will be hard on you, but you don't have to run away from home. No, I mean, I want to go into space with you. Oh, I don't think that's a very good idea, Rodney. What about your family and friends? You guys are my friends. The best I've ever had. And Mum and Dad wouldn't mind. They'd still love Lucy. Besides, she's always wanted to be an only child. Oh, I don't think I can do this, Rodney. Please, Quiggle, this is the only chance I'll ever get. Nonsense. Humans have already traveled in space. It's just a matter of time before they discover the secret of interstellar flight. How much time? Shouldn't be more than 500 years. A thousand at most. Which time are we dead? 
Who in a thousand years humans should have solved that problem to? Patently. <laughs> Look, Quiggle, if, if you go, I don't know what I'll do. Rodney. You should be asleep. Dad, what would you and Mum do if, if I was abducted by aliens and you never saw me again? Well, I think your mother and I would crawl into a hole and never come out. into the propulsion unit. And padding! Lovely insertion. Oh, stop! I couldn't have done it without you. Life forms, we are ready to fly! Hooray! Right. And now I must recombine myself. Goodbye, me. You've been wonderful. Only as wonderful as you. You were too kind. Only as kind as you. Oh, can we get this over with before I vomit? Oh, oh, oh yes, sorry. very well then, sorry. Oh, you're in early today, Mr. Wilson. Something's gonna happen, Mr. Pratt. The old news noise is never wrong. Keep your eyes peeled. Nothing gets past me, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Reconciliation complete! Mima, deactivate the switch and get me back to my dish. That's it. Be right careful. Watch out for my little left tentacle. Back home. There. Everything is back to normal. Now, strap in and prepare for countdown. Uh, but we have to go and do the show. You promised, remember? All right, but you've only got 20 minutes and not a second more. <laughs> Come on! Thanks, Quiggle. <laughs> Goodbye, Lucy. Run! Run!